Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to talk about MFT VO Trader product and steps to patch it. The agenda is an introduction about MFT VO Trader 2, some issues that affect VO Trader and a demo patching. What is MFT? MFT is acronymous for Manage File Transfer. It is a third-party product developed by Clio Company. It is bundled with B2B data exchange product. It is used in some scenarios with B2B data exchange solution in order to transfer files. It allows to transfer files by many different protocols like FTP, HTTP, AS2, AS3 and some others. Let's say you have the following scenario in your company. You install the DX server and it's up and running, but you need to get some files from a partner company that is outside in the internet. So this partner sends a file over uh, FTP server to VL proxy. VL proxy is the proxy for the VL trader. This VL proxy is installed in a DMZ. So the VL proxy sends the file to VL Trader and VL Trader delivers the file for the DX server in the file system. And, and the DX server is going to consume this file by a DX workflow. So in very few words, this is how you use the VL Trader tool in a in a integration with DX. When you should patch it, when a bug affects its functionality and impacts environment. Below are some known issues. So as you can see, there are some CRs here that have been worked by engineering and engineering, uh, clear engineering, and they identified them as a bug and provide us some fixes. Steps to, to patch it are First, you shut down the B2B data exchange by running shutdown s.sh script in a Unix or .bat in a Windows. So after you shut down the data exchange, you need to make sure all DX and MFT process are really down. Take a backup before you start the procedure. Move the EBF file to DX home manage file transfer directory. Then you do a CD moving uh, the shell to this directory, manage file transfer. And after that, you install the patch using the command line belo below dot forward slash VL trader RC space dash I space dash M EBF MFT 459 X dot zip. Keep in mind that the X always change. Normally it's a letter like D, E, F, G, H, so it keeps changing from version to version. I already stopped the DX here and I'm already in the DX home manage file transfer directory and now I'm going to patch it. So uh, the command line is dot forward slash VL trader RC dash I dash M EBF. In this example, I'm going to install the patch 459D.zip. At the end, you should see a message like this one. VL Trader version 459D has been successfully installed. A different way to see if the patch has been applied is you launch the VL Trader homepage, come to help about, and you see this Informatica B2B managed file transfer version 459D. Today, in this multimedia KB, we could see a short overview about the MFT VL Trader 
product and steps to patch it. So we would love to hear from you. Keep in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter, twitter.com forward slash infosupport. Thank you. Bye bye.